All right, I thought I'd do a short little video clip on, on these side panels that I'm making for my dash. <clears throat> making them out of fiberglass. To get the, the thin sheeting here, I took and put a piece of tin foil down on the concrete. Found a really nice flat piece of concrete section in my garage here. Laid a piece of tin foil down, got a piece of fiberglass matting, laid it down, got the thick stuff, and I mixed up some resin, slathered it all over it, put the heat light on it, and let it dry. Um, it wasn't too big a piece. I guess a two foot by two foot section. So I could cut a couple pieces out and uh, make some side panels. And since it's one layer, it's really thin. You can trace it and you can cut it with tin snips or a pair of uh, heavy scissors. I think I used a pair of heavy scissors to cut it out, cut the shapes out. But it gives you kind of a base. And then I used, this is an old bathtub out of an RV. Nice thick fiberglass. But it works if you get the flat sections of it, you cut them out slightly smaller than this panel and then you fiberglass it on there you put a piece of fiberglass mesh in between the two and a lot of resin put a piece of plywood on it with a weight on top and then a heat light on top of that because it's winter time and it wouldn't dry without a heat light that gives this thin little panel some reinforcements so it's uh it's not going to bend it's not going to flex and you're not going to see that anyways. That's going to be on the inside of this panel. Sand this area down, smooth it out with some, some plastic, and uh, it should be good to go. So that's how I make little side panels, little cover panels with some, uh, some backing to them without having to go and buy a whole bunch of matting. I happen to pick this old bathtub up out of my uh, my studio project when I bought that old trailer and I gutted it took everything out of it I saw the bathtub and just thought I could use the, the pieces for this dash project so I kept it I can't use much more of it I got a little piece over here but I don't know how much more I'm gonna need so I'll probably end up chopping the rest of it up and throwing it away but Quick, easy tip on how to make thicker panels without having to buy a bunch of resin and a bunch of matting material. It can get kind of expensive if you have something like this laying around. Fiberglass it on there. Worked out pretty good. I have to finish these up. It's part of my dash project. I'll finish them up and you'll see them later. This one goes down in the kick area by the driver's feet in the center console. And this one goes up by the uh, driver's door opening on the side of the dash, so. Take care guys, don't forget to hit, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Leave a comment, it helps the channel out, and I'll get back at you in a day or so with another video.